Okay, it looks like it's working. The light's on, my light's on. What we have here is this pretty fancy tender that I've been kind of working on off and on. Um, it's a Vanderbilt. I'm working on the custom trucks and everything. Uh, and today I was just fis fiddling with the packaging. How am I gonna put the pieces inside that I need to. Uh, this is the rear hatch that comes off the back. I'll set that up there. I'll hold on to this and I'll gently pull this forward to disclose to you what's inside. The first thing you're going to see is a Lionel digital reverse unit. The next thing you're going to see is a buck boost volt converter. And then, if I keep pulling, and if I'm lucky and nothing gets hung up inside, which it feels like it might be, there is a digital soundboard through the uh, Electric Railroad Company, um, which gives us uh, a whistle and um, chuff and um, a bell. That's it. There's nothing else left inside. And I dare say, I don't think anything else is going to fit. It's really tight. I had to, uh, I had to mold a groove in this adapter plate here. It's not quite big enough. I'm going to make a second one with a larger groove. But the wiring is going to be up and down this groove, uh, so it'll be all tight. Then it's going to shoot up. This will be track power coming up here. And if you look at these boards, track power negative and positive goes here. Track power goes into these leads. And there's an adapter that plugs in over here, a connector that has its track power. Here's the, the plug. I'm going to cut it and tie it in. So this track power coming up is going to tie into all three components. And then the ground, the track power ground that comes up is going to tie in to the same three components and that will be sealed off. Then I'm going to have to take the outputs from this fellow and the outputs from this fellow, which are the engine, uh, and then there will be a speaker here somewhere. I'm going to find <laughs> room for a speaker. And then I also have here and here are the chuff triggers that will also go forward. And there will be uh, lights in the back that will probably just come off this board. And there will be lights in the front will also come off this board. So I maybe have double taps coming off of this power. Then the engine, as you see, pull this back a little bit, put this out of the way. The engine will have a firebox, which is one of the Frankentrain products. If you can see it, maybe you can. I don't know which is upside down or not. But anyway, there's going to be some LEDs in there which produce a, a, a look like fire flickering orange and red. Then this bolts to the pickup right here and that leaves this bolt hole loose for the the rear truck off a of K5 so that's gonna sit like that that's gonna be nice and then underneath this I have an adapter that I've made for a limit switch it's going to sit here Oh, I think it sits like that it's gonna be epoxied down in place and there'll be a little limit switch on the side of it and when this piece turns uh, and is in the back, it's going to hit the limit switch and that's going to go back to the soundboard as a chuff trigger. So you're going to get a chuff sound digital in addition to the mechanical sound and the puff of smoke that comes out of here. Um, then the power wires, this black, no, this black down here and this red, they're going to come forward and just go right to the motor. It's a DC CAN motor, so that Lionel's going to run that. Then um, there'll, there'll be some wires that go up in through here 
to the back of the firebox for the LEDs there, they'll probably be routed up near the top where there's a little more room. And also, I'm going to be putting into the nose here a headlight and green running lights. They will also be powered by the same uh, buck boost. The buck boost also goes all the way to the smoke and powers the smoke. And, and that's probably its primary purpose for this guy is to give us a steady 9 volts to the smoke heater regardless of the engine speed and the track power. This, car, this board is pretty exciting because it could take 6 volts at low, very low speed, turn amps so magically, it turns amps into volts, and it puts out 9 volts at 6 volts on the track to the smoke. So the smoke will heat up and smoke at low speed at higher speed when the track is at 15 volts it's going to tamp those down to 9 it's going to maintain that 9 volts so this will have smoke at low speed and it will not overheat that's a win-win right and the trigger will send a chuff so even at low speed we're going to have a chuff sound and at higher speeds it's just a little noisier and you'll hear the acoustic I'm not going to shut that off there is a way to modify the mechanism so it doesn't do the mechanical chuff, but I'm going to leave it running. I think that's okay. So this is what I'm up to and the printed process I'm running now. Oh, I just finished a new a side rail. Let me see if it's worth showing. Yeah, I think it is worth showing. This is my nicest one. Um, you can see the detail in there. It's really smooth. Um, no support was used. I, <laughs> I found a friend uh, in my 3D printing and trains group on Facebook who happens to like trains, okay, which is good. But he also uh, communicated to me when I showed him what I was doing and what I was getting out and that I wasn't happy with it. He says, uh, well, you're doing it all wrong. You, you need to change this and do that and uh, try it this way. And uh, I questioned him and he wrote back and he just said, trust me. And I thought, oh God. Well, uh, it was a little difficult because his messages to me were in Italian and I had to turn on the translator in order to read his message. And then I'm sure he's getting mine in English and he's turning on his translator. <laughs> so somehow we got it. Um, I set it up. I printed it just like he told me to. And here it is. I got to cut off this brim. This is just used to make sure it sticks. But the detail on here is pretty darn nice uh, from where I've been, okay? I was in the doghouse. But this looks very nice. I'm going to clean this up. The holes look good. Boy, I'm I'm just thrilled. This is this has come out really good looking. Um, yeah, I have the other one that I had. No, yes. No, that's a different one, but at any rate, this is looking good. I can't wait. Uh, so I think I'm I'm gonna fit this and see if I agree everything's fine. If it is, I'm gonna print more, but and it's stiff. I've added a lot of strength to this, and it's uh, it's not it's not a flimsy part. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna work out great as a side frame. I mean, it's not steel, but it will it will compete. You know, and here's the competition. As you can see, it's it's longer, just a skosh longer as far as the axle, but the frame is a lot longer. Uh, but the details, you know, it's a different design. I realize that. I just took it from what I could find online and stuff, and um, I don't know, I, I'm hoping it's going to work out. At any rate, so that looks good. So I've printed that, I've, um, I had another one that I printed earlier, I've printed this part new, and this retainer here is new, and I've changed my whole assembly mechanism where uh, this is going to come down through a hole in the top. If I have one here, I can kind of show it maybe. It's going to come down like this. And then this is going to be here, and it has a stop on it. So it will only go up that high, and then a little screw will go in there. So this is going to have a little bit of a gap. 
and I'm debating if I just put a spacer in there or if I can just make this taller for that fit so that it's so it's a nice fit I'm working on how I want to do that uh, but in any case this is what it's going to look like as far as the plate here and um, I'm pretty excited about it I think it's coming together and I've got my guy is going to send me more of these bronze bushings that we use I'm going to have to get more of these these are linkage screws. I got to figure out which one it is and order more of those because they work. They work great. These are actually smoke screws from the smoke lid off the the old smoke. You can see there. It's the same screw. And um, well, it's really coming together. I think. Um, so today is Sunday at four o'clock. I don't know. I did take some time. I I waxed my wife's new car. I did some Friday and I finished it this morning so I'd lost a little bit of time but you know she cooks and does laundry and all that so I thought I should clean her new car for it well new to her it's a 2018 but. okay well that's what we're into that's where we're going and uh, boy it's been uh, been a ride but I think it's coming I think it's coming together um, I'm gonna post this so you guys can see the update where I'm going and uh, where it's at and hopefully you'll think uh, that these two pieces will look good as they set and uh, and I think they do and that the uh, the tender frame and trucks and everything work out and as you know they're going to be all-wheel pickup every wheel is going to bring power up that's why we have these wires running underneath and all that and there are different configurations for this I still have the Rail Pro device, which is interesting because the Rail Pro one little device could replace both of these boards. That's you know pretty interesting because you get rid of this uh, Lionel and you get rid of the soundboard, and you get Rail Pro. Tiny little board could fit well within here, not nearly as high. None of these high-powered electronics. It's all tiny. It's all five volts. I still need this guy, but he could sit back here and be the dog. Rail Pro's up here. Now you got room for a nicer speaker too. So I think that's the, the, the version I'm going to build next. I'm going to try very hard to build another engine quickly, probably a diesel. Um, I, I wanted to do another steam, but I don't know if I have the time and money to get more parts. But that's where we're at. There it is. That's a wrap. Big update. Progress. It's going to be okay. It's looking good. We'll check in. We'll check in later.